What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and today I'm going to work on the sea hibiscus. Alright, so you might remember this tree from one of the previous videos. Um, if not, here's a little refresher. This is a sea hibiscus tiliacus. It is a tricolor. It has green leaves, red leaves and also variegated leaves. Um, this one is from my personal collection and is one of my favorite trees that I have. Now, I've been developing this tree from a uh, nursery stock tree for about a year and a half now. So when I first started this tree, it had maybe like three or four branches. And now, as you can see, it has a full canopy. Now, as I've been training this tree for the last year and a half, it's become more and more obvious to me that there's a few things wrong with the design, with the initial design of this tree. So today, we're going to go and take a closer look and see what is wrong with the current design and how can we improve it. So now in order to do that, we of course have to defoliate the entire tree. Now I'm gonna call my assistant Mari to come and help me defoliate. So this is Mari, thank you for helping me out today. So she is already a pro at defoliating. Um, so she's gonna to start to defoliate and I'm gonna tell you how we defoliate this tree. Now this tree, you defoliate a little different than any other tree. So I would not go ahead and just pull off all the leaves. What we do here at the store is we cut the leaf. So we cut right behind the leaf and we actually leave the stem. So we leave the stem for dye back purposes. All right, so Mari is gonna show us a close up. So she's cutting right behind the leaf. Perfect. Show us the stems. So see, she's leaving the stems for dieback purposes. So now that we have uh, finished defoliating the tree, um, we also removed the uh, wire yesterday with the help of Jeffrey. And the reason why uh, he and I removed all the wire on the tree is because the wire was starting to bite into the branches. And that's when we knew it was perfect time to remove all of the wire. Now, let me point out what is not working with the current design and what we can do to work on a uh, solution. Right, so if you look at the base of the tree, um, the base is really nice and it has some really nice movement, but then the movement goes over to the left. Now this branch right here, which I wanted to turn into the uh, apex, is really starting to bother my eye when I look at the tree because it's kind of like a, it just doesn't work because the movement of the tree clearly wants to go into that direction and I'm kind of breaking that movement with this piece right here. So the main problem is that this tree wants to be about three or four trees at the same time. So for instance, this tree over here, this piece, would be a really nice tree as well if we cut the tree right here. And then we had kind of that windswept, really gnarly movement over to the left of the tree, which I like a lot. But then you have reverse taper here. So the taper comes up and then it's going to be reversed. So we would have to adjust the angle if this is the tree that we would go with. But I think it is kind of sad uh, to cut off the entire uh, right side of the tree at the moment. So another option could be to eliminate this piece over here because it's so heavy and then focus again on keeping this as the uh, apex. So I think the piece that is bothering me the most right now is this straight piece right here. It just doesn't work. It's too straight and it just breaks the movement of the tree, right? So it goes up to the left and it also goes straight up. So let's try to continue going further to the left and have the canopy maybe on the left side. But for now, I'm just gonna take off this piece and then see what we have. All right, so now if you look at the tree, the movement goes more over to the left and it already looks a lot better. Um, now this piece in here, I'm also not too big. Um, 
I also don't like this piece too much, so I'm going to remove this piece as well. Alright, so now that I removed this big heavy piece here, you can see the flow of the tree has already improved tremendously. Um, now this flush cut here, I'm going to use my knob cutters and just break off the ends a little bit so that it's not that straight cut. And once it heals over, it's going to heal over much nicer. Alright, so now that this big piece here is gone, um, I think the movement of the tree is a lot, uh, is a lot better. Um, now by looking at it, I would like to have the canopy over here. So the uh, main apex is going to be starting over here and it's going to drape over to this side. Um, a feature that I do like a lot is that when you look at the tree from the front, you can see the back branch through this little window here. Um, this reverse taper here, I have not decided if I'm going to take it off or not, um, typically you would remove it because it's reverse taper. But sometimes when you have a tree like this, some odd feature like this, like a reverse taper, actually helps to make the tree look a lot more natural. Or in my opinion, it makes the tree look a little more interesting as well. Reverse taper is when, the, uh, when you look at the trunk movement and you follow all the way up into this branch here. Here, the movement now comes back to you. So this is where the reverse taper is right here, because this is hitting you in the face. But to me, the reverse taper actually really, I think, adds a natural effect to the tree. So I kind of do like that. So for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wire this side now into position and see how we can fix this. And then I'm going to work on this side next. So um, currently it does look like an FPL tree because I removed this big piece right here. But before the uh, apex was over here and I moved it over here, um, this is not gonna stay as tall. I, I can imagine the future is gonna be shortened a little bit. Now this piece, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my sacrifice apex or branch if you wanna call it. I'm gonna let this one grow until this piece has pretty much thickened up to this size and then um, the movement will continue up into here of the tree. But we're gonna make it a little taller. And I think it's gonna look really, really cool at this point. Now, what I of course need to do, I need to fill this gap here. I wanna keep this open so that you can see the back branches through the uh, window. I might adjust the front a little bit or maybe tilt it up in the, in the future a little more. Um, what I have to really focus on is bringing some more branches into this area right here. And once this tree starts to grow again, I'm gonna have so many branches that I can choose from to pull over here. I can maybe hopefully get one from here that I can pull into this direction and make this one a second layer. So this is not really too far away because all of these branches that I have are now in perfect uh, position. So now that I applied the uh, cut paste, this will prevent the tree from getting a uh, infestation there or anything like that. So this really heals over the cut and then the cut can start to roll. So that's it for this week's episode and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. So in case you're wondering why we didn't film a Q&A this week, there's a very special reason why. 
is because we're gonna be in Canada with a special guest, Nigel Sanders from The, the Bonsai, Bonsai Zone. Zone. If you're a fan as we are, please tune next week's episode. Yes, so it's gonna be a Q&A, so make sure to drop your comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.